Amazon finally allows NPM competition. The digital one transaction is passed 14 billion US dollar and the European Union's proposal for instant payments. Once again, what's hot and happening this week in the world of digital payments? Good morning everyone, this is Mary for Payment Jeans and today it's all about payments. Big Tech Amazon allows payments to better Venmo. Amazon announced that it will now allow customers to make payments through Venmo on its own platform. The company said this option will be available to select customers starting now and will roll out to all US-based users on the Amazon sites and mobile app by Black Friday next month. Just like the partnership, the launch is strategically chosen to boost adoption on Peep web traffic days. This might seem like a small step for Amazon, but it is a large step for alternative payment options given the non-compete history with Amazon Pay. Given that the majority of Venmo users are in the 18 to 24 and 25 to 34 age demographic, this addition seems to be very much mutually beneficial. Now, some key Venmo statistics. Venmo made approximately 850 million US dollars worth in 2021, which was an 88% increase on the basis of 2020 revenue. In 2021, Venmo processed 230 billion US dollars in payments volume, a 44% increase year on year. Venmo was acquired by PayPal back in 2013 for 800 million US dollars. Venmo users averaged five transactions a month, and the average transaction amounts to roughly 65 to 75 US dollars in the US. Over 2 million merchants accept Venmo in the US as of 2021, and Venmo users account for 18% of the global crypto wallet with payment feature market. <laughs> so, that begs today's question, did Amazon make the right call to allow a competition for Amazon Pay and partner with an alternative payment method like Venmo? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Blockchain. The digital yuan transactions past 14 billion US dollars. Chinese citizens have spent more than 14 billion US dollars worth of digital yuan, the People's Bank of China said last week. China is far ahead of other major developed countries when it comes to CBDC developments. Having started in 2014, its testing and rollout campaign has been slow to help merchants and consumers get prepared. Given the fact that Alipay and WeChat Pay together account for more than 90% of China's digital payments volume, introducing new payments behavior is very challenging. Unless China is notably pressuring merchants to accept it and mandating a scan with one code law that effectively forced Alipay and WeChat Pay to accept the electronic Chinese yuan and work on a system in which it is equally accessible to consumers. With 14 billion US dollars worth of digital yuan in transactions, China is definitely a front runner, but certainly not the only country running a pilot. So that begs today's question, how do you foresee CBDCs being introduced in the West? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Regulations. European Union pushback for instant payments. The European Union is preparing rules that would require banks in the Eurozone to offer instant payments in Europe. According to a draft law, only 11% of Euro credit transfers were in the form of instant payments at the end of 2021. The European Union publishes its proposals for instant payments, which is directionally a great step towards providing European consumers and businesses with alternative payment methods, perhaps cheaper, faster and safer. The EC is probably set to intervene in its pricing by banks of instant payments, seeking to make European Payments Council SEPA instant credit transfers the new standard, an important building block in modernizing the way we all pay. Concerns have been raised about the mandatory provision of instant credit transfers in euros, arguing that the tight time frame could endanger the safety and security of transactions. Given that the European Payment Council SEPA instant credit transfer scheme is facilitated real-time payments and has been introduced in the end of 2016, what will make the difference now, you think? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. For now, I'd like to thank you all again for watching and I'm looking forward to see you all again next week. Cheers, bye-bye.